Welcome to Istanbul, Turkey, where a bomb went off here in the main tourist district about 30 minutes ago. Literally right by my hostel, so I decided to come out here and see what's going on. You can hear the uh, the helicopters overhead. Like I said, it happened under an hour ago, so no one really knows why or who. But I know there's a. Uh, a number of people dead, a number of people injured. To be honest, there's still a decent amount of people on the streets here. And this is where it happened. Somewhere along the street, I really don't know actually. Um, I'm actually surprised to see this number of people still still on the street. I'm seeing a lot of people leaving with their luggage, with their suitcases. So I think a, a lot of people are really, really startled and, and they're leaving the city. Hey man, what happened? Patlama. Bomba. Ah, sure. Where, here? That way. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Dang, dude. Yeah, the mood here is quite somber. It's usually very lively. Lots of vendors, and musicians, and tourists, and now it does it does still appear pretty crowded considering what just happened, but compared to what it usually is, is this is um, it's quite dead. Man, what happened? Bomb. Why? Why? Terrorist? No. Uh, accident? Maybe? Uh, okay. All right. Thank All right. you. Ciao, ciao. Oh, it's funny how things can change in an instant. Like I said, this street is usually jammed, jammed with tourists. And within 30 minutes, 45 minutes, they've all cleared out. Honestly, you know, I've been to Ukraine. Obviously, a war is going on there, but I haven't felt like danger has, has been on my doorstep like this uh, on this entire trip. You know, I expected, I expected Istanbul to be a safe place compared to the places I've been recently, but apparently not. Wow, it looks like they've got uh, a police barricade up here. This might be as far as we're gonna be able to get. You can really feel it, the, the pressure, the intensity here. Fuck, man. Would you know what happened? Boom. Boom. Why? You have video. You were there.
Was it, uh, was it terrorism? Like, uh, like ISIS or something? The guy was, uh... Like a vest, he had a explosive vest. So he was a suicide bomber. Holy shit. Safe, man. Cheers. All right. Thanks, man. Jesus. Well, I'm not sure if you guys can see that video, but it was a suicide bomber with a explosive vest on his chest. Fuck me, dude. I mean, this is always the most crowded part of the city. I mean, it's jammed with people, like I said. So I imagine he he killed a few folks. Fuck, dude. Uh, ISIS or something. Yes. fucked up man we're not in Iraq we're not in Afghanistan we're in a modernized country we're in Turkey I thought I thought we were safe here I think a lot of these people, myself included, you know, we're standing around, we're kind of searching for answers. I don't think anyone really knows what's happening as of yet. I mean, Homeboy showed us that video of the, of the guy with the, the explosive vest on, but um, I don't know. I just feel like I don't really know what's happening. My husband is looking at the news. It was a backpack with an explosion. So it was a terrorist? I guess so. He said that it was a backpack left in a bench an explosion. God damn. Did you see it happen? Were you there or? No, no, no. I, I was in the corner. I saw a bunch of cops running and we hide in a store. So oh it was God. horrible. Just chaos, man. Yeah. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, you too. Cheers. I'm trying to find my hotel. Oh my God. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, okay.
this is madness, dude. Out of all the places I've been recently, I would not expect this to happen in Turkey. Very modern, modern nation. And uh, look what it's come to here.